funeral. The cause, an elderly driver allegedly plows into dozens of people leaving a funeral. Police say the vehicle, driven by an 86-year-old man, rapidly accelerated onto a sidewalk. Nine were injured, including a five-year-old boy. Tonight, two of those victims remain in serious condition. Back with my co-host Samantha Shocker and the rest of the Behavior Bureau, Jenny, Casey, and Wendy, and we are discussing a man who plowed his car into a crowd at a funeral. Also joining the panel, Hattie. Uh, she, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, before I introduce Hattie, I've got to go to a reporter. It's Glenn <laughs> Beebe on the phone. He is with KBOI in Boise, reporting on the story. Again, Glenn, can you give me the latest? Well, what we know right now is that two people are still hospitalized. Of those, one was a woman. She has been upgraded to fair condition tonight, but the young five-year-old boy, he still remains in serious condition. Mm -hmm. And what we're hearing from witnesses that were on the scene is that his legs were run over by the car. As oh. we said, he still remains in serious condition tonight. And one of the things that uh, obviously uh, we're hearing from witnesses as well is that it appears that the elderly gentleman who was driving appeared to be having trouble getting the car into gear before the car rocketed forward, hitting uh, uh, all those people and then coming to a stop. As you can see from the damage to the car, it was uh, devastating, but people here are just trying to recover from it. Glenn, do we know what was going on with the, the uh, driver? Uh, the fact is I've dealt with many cases like this in my practice, and usually the driver has a medical event or is deteriorating into some sort of neurological problem that was missed. Do we know anything about him? Uh, well, I was actually on scene when he got out of the car. He got out under his own power. He did have a cane, but it, he didn't appear to suffer from a stroke or a heart attack or anything like that. Right now, both investigators and family members who are on scene say this just appears to be a really tragic accident. Joining us is, thank you, Glenn. Joining us is Hattie. As I said, she is 77 years old herself, and she's about to get her very first driver's license. Congratulations, Hattie. Now, that accident thank occurred <laughs> in Idaho, where the state law says drivers age 62 and older must renew their license in person every four years. In New York, there's no such requirement. Do you think there should be more careful monitoring of the elderly by the DMV or by licensing organizations, Hattie? I think there should be more careful careful monitoring of every age because one of the things you hear the word elderly and right away a whole bunch of expectations show up and they are negative so it could have been a young person that this happened to so that when you're driving a vehicle anyone who has to be behind that wheel should have some testing of some sort other than the simplistic ones we have now because everything is more complicated and we got to find out what constitutes safety in driving and who's capable of doing this. But to charge someone because they're elderly, if we don't change the concept of elderly, we're going to think that the, the old people are going to be doing everything wrong. Killers yet. Yeah, I, I, well, I agree with Hattie Casey that as a physician, I'm often called upon to make these assessments. And the DMV reserves their final say on all this. And sometimes I'm very frustrated with their assessments. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. I would say so because you get a small eye test. Yeah. Who tests reflexes? Okay, Who Hattie, hold on. Past Hang performances? on. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. Casey, finish up. Okay. I, I'm out of time, but Casey, give me 10 seconds on that. Well, okay. just that one of the things that Michigan does that I think is very effective is that people can anonymously turn in their elderly parents uh, so that they can get a notice from the DMV that requires them to come down we, for we, testing. We do that and in that California, too. That can save too. a lot of families. We, we do that in California, right. too, but it's very.